Today we're going to work on drawing animals of the Amazon rainforest, just like our artist. And we're going to use your devices and my on to try to find some pictures. So you're going to get on my on on your device and use your login and search. You can search Amazon rainforest. That's that's what I search for. That's the book I'm in right now. Or you could look up animals of the Amazon. Things like that, as long as you're getting animals from the right location. And then you're going to sketch quickly. That's what sketching is. You make a quick drawing. It's not meant to take all day. And then we're going to add a little more detail to it after a bit. So I like this frog, especially since he's kind of interacting with his environment. We can see him. I tilt it up. He's hanging from a branch, which is more interesting than these frogs at the bottom that are just sitting there. So it'd be good to find an animal where you could show them interacting with their environment. So I'm going to look at the frog, try to square it off a bit, see how far over that branch is. I'm trying to just lightly draw it on the page. <clears throat> and then we try to draw the big stuff first, and you just kind of make a generic shape. So he's got a head in this area, and his little froggy body, and I'm just making quick sketches. And I can work on more specific things, like his little froggy legs. And you can always use your pencil to figure out the angle things are going at. Like I can light it up with this leg, lay it on my paper, and make sure my leg is going the same direction. And draw very, very lightly. Draw light till you get it right. And if you don't see something in the picture, you don't have to worry about drawing it. Like one of his feet, it goes off the other side of the branch. I can't really see it. So I don't have to worry about drawing it. So start generic and then you can get more specific as you go. My frog sketch is finished. Now I'm done with the pencil. Anything else that happens is going to happen with oil pastels or eventually watercolor because this is going to be an oil pastel resist. These are oil based so that means when we put watercolor on top the watercolor doesn't stick. So we can use these to add a little value here and there on our froggy friend. We can use it to trace his body. We can use it to add some little shadows. So like this area, for example, on his leg. His leg's blue, but it's not the same kind of blue on the whole frog. So I can trace it, and then where I see some darkness, I can add a little bit of oil pastel there. And try to make sure you're using the right color for the right area. Like his eye's bright red. I wouldn't want to trace with the blue up by his eyeball. We can also use the oil pastels to color in the tiny stuff on here. So if you have anything that's too small, you think, for watercolor paint, then we can always go in and use the oil pastel for it. And that's as much work as I'm going to do with my oil pastels. And you can see I added a little bit of value on my frog in the same place as you see value up here. When it comes to texture details, like on the log, I left those alone because we can show that with a little watercolor trick involving watercolor and salt. So try your best, that's all I'm asking, and have fun.